what is going on guys welcome back to another top five designs where today we're going to be taking a look at potion room designs now guys all of these designs are done in vanilla minecraft with absolutely no world edit and are purely for your guys's inspiration so guys i hope you enjoy it and let's get straight into it so here we are with the very first design now this design was built by epica and this is a laboratory style potion room now what we wanted to do with all of these designs today guys we wanted to show you a different variation of styles of potion rooms that you can use to make your room still look nice and interesting and just in case you want to do something a little bit different Different. Now, as you can see, this is very reminiscent of something like a chemistry lab that you'd see in a school or something like that. It's got a very clean white feel like a laboratory should have. Now, if we start off in the center here, we have our essentials for our brewing station right there. We have our brewing stands in the middle on this nice little center platform, and we have the water underneath so you can refill your water bottles there as well. We've got a nice centerpiece over the top of it, nice little glass unit with some carpet on top, very simple to do and it still looks really nice if we look at the back of the room over here we have our storage for all of our ingredients we've got two stacks of double chests right there so we've got plenty of storage for your ingredients you could even put some more item frames at the bottom here and store potions in the bottom chest and and ingredients in the top chest if we look at this side of the room we have a nice kind of unit at the top here we have some just just some regular cupboards with some glass at the top to represent a kind of glass cabinet and at the bottom we have a little side counter which i really like this is made out of iron trap doors string and carpet so it look, has a really nice cool look to it and within the counter we have some cauldrons for the water as well cauldrons always i think cauldrons were especially made for minecraft for potions so you could fill up your water bottles so it's always good to have them in a potion room and then we have the trap the trip wire hooks for the taps right there on the other side of the room we have pretty much the same unit design just without the glass at the top and we have the same counter over here as well but the cool thing about this room guys we have a kind of mirror effect if you look at this glass right here as you can see this room is mirrored on the other side and the reason you do this is to make it look like that is an actual mirror because if, if i look into that glass over there and move around it kind of looks like a reflection of the room that i'm standing in which is always a cool little effect very easy to pull off you just put some glass there and you just build this room in the opposite direction over here and it looks like a mirror because you can't actually get mirrors in minecraft but guys this is a very simple potion room design if you want to do something like a laboratory i think this is a very good design for you and should give you tons and tons of inspiration so moving on to the second design guys now this design was built by Luis and this is more of a traditional style potion room to fit in your traditional style houses the idea with this potion room is to make it fit in a regular house so it doesn't look out of place and you can still have a nice functional potion room if you're building a tra traditional style house in survival if we start on the left hand side here guys as you can see we have our storage area right here we've got potion knowledge signs so this is like all your recipes for your potions kind of stored up right there so we've got our potion storage on the left and on the right and if we go to the back of the room over here this is where we have our ingredients so one important thing about our potion room guys you need to have a lot of storage because you have a lot of things you need to store you need to store water bottles you need to store potion bottles and you need to store ingredients so this is a very good way to have a bunch of storage but still make it look nice we have a lot of detail around here with some custom heads some cobwebs and things like that in the middle middle here we have our ender chest just in case you need some essentials right there on the right side of the room here this is kind of interesting we have a little fireplace with an anvil but we also have these kind of kegs in the corner and I think that kind of fits the room because brewing and all that kind of thing having kegs in there is kind of associated with brewing and I think that kind of really fits the room style in the middle of the room here this is where we have all of our brewing stands with our cauldrons in the middle so you can fill up your water bottles brew all your potions Potions, go and get your ingredients from the chests and then you have a fully functioning potion room but it still fits in with your traditional style house i think this is an awesome design especially if you're building a traditional style house 
So moving on to the third design guys, now this design was built by the Lazy Peanut and this is kind of like a man cave slash bar slash pub kind of design. Now with this design like the last one guys, we wanted to show you designs that you could still fit into your houses but are still functional as potion rooms. Now as you can see here guys, we've got like a little bar in the corner there, we've got an entertainment area, it still looks like a standard room that you would see in a normal house but it's still functional as a potion room if we look over to the left hand side over here we have a little entertainment area with some custom heads like a beer there a popcorn and we've got some seats down there we've got a big screen tv in this nice tv unit over here and then we have a little desk area right there now this is where the potion stuff starts to come into it we've got a glass cabinet over here and as you can see we have some never walk so this is a very cool way to fit a never walk farm into your into your potion room because it doesn't even look out of place if you ask me We've got a nice little glass cabinet over here with some never wall in there we've got a chest up there if you want to store your never wall and we have a crafting table as well really like this cabinet it's just a cool way to have the essentials what you need in a potion room but still make it fit within the style of the room now if we go over here this is our brewing station how cool does this look this is kind of like a little bar so uh, lazy peanut has kind of made this area like a bar area where you can actually go and brew your potions if we go in here this is where all our brewing stands are so you can brew your potions right here you've got your water down there so you can fill out your water bottles um, you've also got some more brewing stands over here which kind of look really cool like it looks like the taps that you'd pour the drink on a bar but they've but it still works as a brewing stand right there and i think that looks really really nice got some dispensers at the back there if you want to put some butters on it press the buttons and it will kind of spit out the potion ingredients that you want and got some custom heads on there just to add some extra detail and if we look at this side of the room over here just some extra detail and adding some more brewing stands there if you run out of space over here with your end of chest crafting table and just some detail on the shelves right here i really like this room guys i feel like this room is a very discreet potion room you cannot tell that it's an actual potion room but if you look at the little detail within the room it is a potion room you've got all the stuff that you need but it still looks great in a house if you want to build it in your kind of like basement or something like that so here we are with the fourth design guys and this design was built by epica and this is a wine cellar design now this is a very cool design if you didn't know what to do with a potion room this is definitely a good option that you could use now as you guys know brewing stands and brewing is kind of like a drink kind of thing and having a wine cellar is a good way to kind of replicate that kind of style so what we've got here in the middle we have our little potion area on kind of like a little coffee table so you can just brew your potions if you need to now on the side of the walls we have these kind of big kegs and this is where usually in like a winery or a wine cellar this is where they would store all the drinks and stuff like that at the top we have smaller kegs with the trap wire hook on it just to add like a little dispenser so you could pour out the drinks and then below that this is where we have our potion ingredients i think that all fits in very nicely as a complete wall you know the potion ingredients don't look out of place you've got these nice big kegs at the top and these smaller ones down here and then you've got all your ingredients now on the back wall we've got a nice fireplace just to finish off the room and we have these little little cubby holes at the top this is where you kind of store your bottles of wine or your drink or in this case this is where you could store your potions um, and down the bottom here we have our and some more brewing stands and we have a cauldron right here nice fireplace in the middle and then over here we have again the same as that side with a brewing stand and another cauldron on the other side of the room very similar to the side we saw before just some more storage and some kegs as well so once again guys this is definitely a room style that you can use that will be very discreet as a potion room if you want something that doesn't look like a traditional kind of potion room you can have something like this and you can still use it and it is very very functional as a potion room so here we are with the fifth and final design guys now this design was built by myself and epica and this is kind of like a mad scientist's lab design now i really really like this design and like the way it has come out and what we wanted to do is go for a design where it looks like someone's holding experiments kind of brewing all these kind of crazy potions and stuff and we wanted to do that and i think a mad scientist theme fit that very very well now if we start on the right side of the room guys this is where we 
have our potion station very fitting for this kind of style of room where we've got our storage on the left and right these are double chests stacked in there with our ingredient symbols on it as well and over here we have enough potion stands right here to get all of our potions that we need and we have our cauldrons at the bottom there to store all of our water on top we have the hoppers the hoppers don't really do anything here they're just for decoration to make it look like some kind of experiment or something like that so this is the main potion area now the rest of the room is kind of just decoration to add into the theme of the room but i still think it adds to a nice feel to this room so if we look at the back of the room here we have some chambers and these are kind of chambers that they would put test subjects in and do experiments on and i think they look very very good we've got some beacons in the corner there just to add to that mysterious kind of feel in the middle here we have kind of like a brain in a glass chamber which i thought was a cool little design that's a pink leather helmet right there and it kind of got all these kind of um, vents at the top where it would go down maybe suck up the brain and make it go somewhere else or something like that and we have another chamber over here maybe this is where they do experiments on animals or something like that now over here on this side of the room we have our test subjects in miniature chambers as you can see we have a pig that has nearly turned into a zombie pigman doing some more experiments on some test subjects and we have a villager turning them into like an iron golem as well doing some test subjects over there and to fit into the style of the potion room we have our never walk over here so we could just have a little never walk farm and do some brewing over there if we need to in the middle here we have a nice little desk area just to add and complete that final touch to the room nice desk area made out of quartz and iron trap doors with a nice little shelving area in the middle now i really like this room des design guys i think it came out very very nice very fitting for like a mad scientist theme and i think it goes well with a brewing slash potion room so there we go guys with the top five potion room designs i hope you got tons and tons of inspiration from each one of these rooms this week was a very tough week to pull off once again guys it's very hard to get a different variety of potion rooms but i think we pulled it off very well giving you loads of different styles loads of different ideas of different potion rooms that you could potentially use in your own builds so take whatever you need from each one of these rooms guys make your own potion rooms if you do make your own potion rooms make sure to tweet them to me at twitter on bigs 87 x but guys if you're wondering if all of these room designs from the living room designs bedroom designs all the way to the potion designs will be available for you guys to view they will be available to view on my server which is chaoscraft.net mc.chaoscraft.net link will be down in the description but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another top five designs to go for with this design guys i wanted to go for your traditional looking library you know with a lot of bookshelves all the way around the room kind of similar to something that you get in a stronghold but looks a lot better just for them people that want an actual library in their houses so that's what i tried to pull off 